A resident of Ham Lake, Minnesota, Angela became a delivery driver for Domino's Pizza back in 2013. Prior to that, she had a different job working for Minnesota visiting nurses. Sadly for her, though, everything changed following a devastating personal loss. Welcome to Amazing Truth Channel. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all new. Now go to the story. I did housekeeping for people with AIDS and HIV, Angela told The Atlantic in October of 2016. Then they closed my department. They offered me another position with a hospice. But I had a daughter that had died while I was working for Minnesota Visiting Nurses. And it was just too difficult for me to think of going to work with other people that were dying. So, I left some months after that. There's a little look to get back to work and a part-time job despite caring for her grandchildren on a regular basis. With that in mind, she showed an interest in working for the same company as her oldest daughter, Sarah, in the hope that they could maintain their current routines. I would help Sarah out quite a bit, watching her children, Angela recalled to The Atlantic. I got a job at Domino's and worked the opposite hours of her. It was flexible enough for me to watch her kids while she worked and then for her to have her children when I went to work. As she settled into her new role, Angela soon became very familiar with one customer in particular who lived on the fringes of Anoka County, Minnesota. His name was Lee. He likes to order every Saturday. She told USA Today in December 2015. At 10.15 a.m., you're going to get an order from Lee. However, in late 2015, Lee was the victim of an unimaginable chain of terrible events leaving him heartbroken. The elderly customer's house was badly damaged following a storm, which made it uninhabitable, and then his son tragically passed away in a snowmobile accident. After that, he moved into a small trailer just outside his home. Unfortunately for Lee, though, the trailer had no electricity, plumbing, or heat, leaving him in a vulnerable position ahead of the winter months. However, when Sarah noticed his situation, she soon informed her mom, Unsurprisingly, Angela didn't like what she heard. I thought we got to do something, Angela told USA Today. We got to do something. We can't let a human being live like this. With that in mind, she bought a heater for Lee's trailer and decided to go a little further when delivering his pizzas every Saturday morning. The pizzas are what Lee would live on on the weekends because he was elderly and couldn't get meals on wheels, Angela told The Atlantic. I would look forward to delivering to him and just be a little ray of sunshine to help him every Saturday morning, saying, How are you doing, Lee? Sometimes I would stop at the store and grab him a hot cup of coffee and a donut before I go there with his pizza. Moreover, Angela's work didn't stop there as she continued to look for ways to help Lee. There's no way somebody can live like that and be fine, she said in a YouTube video produced by Humankind, a channel created by USA Today in December 2015. So you just step in and you do what you gotta do. With that in mind, Angela set up a GoFundMe page for Lee, leading to numerous contributions from across the world. We got donations from as far as Australia, the delivery driver told USA Today. Some two months after that, the page had raised more than $32,000, which sparked the next phase of Angela's ambitious plan. Using that money, Angela bought her elderly customer a brand new home while the local community donated all the furnishings. The Humankind YouTube video titled Pizza Delivery Driver Delivers New Home to Homeless Man captured the moment when Lee finally saw the results of her incredibly hard work. Unsurprisingly, he was touched beyond words. With Angela by his side, Lee is greeted by a number of local volunteers as he walks through the front door. Sarah gives him a warm hug as he begins to settle in. With the interior of the house now covered in Christmas decorations. You remember when this started and I promised you we were going to help you. She tearfully tells Lee during their embrace. It's wonderful. Lee tells the camera crew. I'm so grateful for the people doing this. After that, Angela gives him a tour of the house, noting that he has plenty of food stored up in the kitchen. Incredibly, his new bedroom is the same size as his old trailer while a message above the bed reads, Joy, Hope, Love, Believe. As the video closes with Lee and his new friends singing Christmas carols, Angela offers one last heartwarming message about the situation. Every single one of us enjoyed doing this, she tells the camera crew. This ain't all for Lee. We all benefited. 
Indeed, while Lee now had a proper roof over his head for the winter, Angela continued to do good deeds for her other Domino's regulars. Another customer's daughter just had surgery for Crohn's disease and was very, very ill, and the mother was out of work, she told The Atlantic. I started a GoFundMe for her, and we're getting enough donations that her mother doesn't have to worry about going back to work right now, Angela continued. She can just stay home and take care of her daughter. As for Lee, his weekly routine changed following the move to his new home. Lee really stood out for quite some time and doesn't order for delivery anymore because he's got a stove and a refrigerator and a microwave. Angela said of her former customer. Yeah, he stood out for a long time. While delivery drivers can become very familiar with certain customers, few can emulate the generosity of Domino's employee Angela Nguyen. Alongside her daughter Sarah, she delivered something far greater than a pizza to Lee Hayes in December 2015. She gave him a new place to call home. If you like the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss, and see you in the next story.